Good tidings, celestial terrestrials, raw spirit community news friends. This is Happy Oasis, almost at the summit of Mount Shasta behind me, with a very special guest, Michael Shields, beaming in via Skype from Sedona, Arizona. Michael, good afternoon. Hi, how are you? I am fabulous. I'd like to give you a high five for meeting me on top of the mountain. What are some of your major contributions? Who is Michael Shields? I know you've been a fan of the Raw Spirit Festival. You're the founder of the New Earth Society. And tell us, I know it's a, an incredible band. You're a phenomenal musician. And I also know there's a lot more to this band, to your movement, and to you. So if you would please enlighten us. Well, essentially, um, I would define myself as something of a messenger um, and music and my voice and guitar uh, in particular have been my medium for most of my life. Um, I've had a lot of other ways of spreading that word and most of that word is about consciousness, community, uh, vitality and the various things that are really intrinsic to bringing uh, a quality of life and hopefully the constructs of a next society. So my current project is Earth and the Next Society, which is a rock band, essentially, um, with a consciousness message. And the two things kind of blend rather naturally. Uh, so they're really an expression of what's in the hearts of people. You know, I often tell people, um, we're Earth and the Next Society, and so are you. So really, you know, um, asking me who I am is really more of a reflection of who it is that I'm speaking to, because as a messenger, I'm really just delivering a word that's designed to awaken and empower people as to who they are. And what is and what that word? what the purpose and the intention of being here is. That's the role of a messenger. So, um, kind of in a nutshell. I'm sorry? And what is that word? You said the word. You mean well, the uh, expression of... Yeah, essentially what that word is, is personal empowerment, taking responsibility for who you are and why you're here and what your purpose and intention are. You know, it's a clue there that a lot of things are in, in uh, flux right now. There's a shift going on. Uh, there's a lot of things happening on the planet, and each of us has to assume a role in being uh, stewards of that process. And my message and the message of Earth and the Next Society is that of empowering people to find and inspire from within uh, the things that they need to activate and uh, their purpose and intention and, and for them to step forward and assume that role in society. That's the reason why it's called Earth and the Next Society is because, again, it's about people assuming those roles in the society, not so much about the personal kind of uh, narcissistic trip about, you know, where am I and where am I going and, and it's all about me. Um, you know, either as a person and an individual, but more, where do I fit into society and, and where do I participate uh, to create the harmony that uh, we need to see on the planet? Um, and obviously that role extends itself into a wide array of areas, um, specifically raw foods being one um, of the things that, that I've seen really being used as a catalyst of awakening in a lot of people. Um, and so. Really, that, that message is delivering a lot of information, whether it's about nutrition, whether it's about alternative cures for chronic disease, such as cancer, diabetes, uh, heart disease, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and, and demonstrating to people that there are alternative paths for these things that are, are essentially rooted in many of the core foundations of nutrition and life, um, and things that we already intrinsically know, uh, but we have forgotten. And essentially, the idea is to awaken people uh, to that information that, that's dormant within them to make that expression and understanding. This is very vital information. It's quite profound. And I'm wondering, in the context of all this, on a personal note, what is your healthiest habit? The reason why I'm asking is because you seem to have an unusual insight, a vast vision, and also exude a lot of energy. What are, what are yeah. your health secrets? Uh, well, I will say that, you know, raw food was a big awakening thing for me. It was a big catalyst. 
but it, what it did is create a foundation of balance. So everything for me is about balance. I find balance in all areas in life. So, you know, the particular habits that I have really are, are rooted in creating balance in all the things that I do, whether that balance has to do with nutrition, mental well-being, emotional well-being. Um, for example, I, I kind of subscribe to the notion of indigenous cultures of standing in the center of the medicine wheel and looking at the mental, emotional, physical, uh, and spiritual constructs uh, of the medicine wheel and determining where it is that one might be out of balance.